Hey, hello, guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Simshimba Pochi Farms, where you learn a lot about poultry farming. And today we want to talk about a special topic that we need to cover up. And I just want every poultry farmer to pay attention because this topic gave me a lot of time trying to figure out what really is a problem with the birds. There's this issue that every poultry farmer has faced before. And when they face this problem, the first thing they do is they run to the aggravate and go and uh, consult to say my birds are having this strange sound. And you know, with the aggravate, they'll give you chronic respiratory disease antibiotics. It's the one they'll give you. They'll give you CRD to come and treat your birds. But upon me taking time and finding out what really causes this issue on beds this funny sound they give let me just uh, not talk let me just put up like a small clip to show you and to make you get aware to what i'm talking about so this is a sound that i'm talking about So I'm sure you got the sound, there's that breathing, like <sighs> that breathing that the beds are giving and everybody would think like my beds are having a problem. There's also this other sound they will give, they will be like what, what, let me just give uh, up uh, a small creep as well on this same uh, sound, this sound which you can hear from here. I'm sure you got the sound clearly and that sound and the other sound on the other creep they come at the same time and especially with the summertime when it's hot this is mostly common so what I what I did was like upon me finding out what really is a problem with the beds because uh, mostly beds are not supposed to have uh, chronic problems especially when they're small or any other diseases when they are still small they don't have to have that according to my experience so i got uh confused and i was trying to figure out what could be the problem my poultry is clean i cleaned the poultry and I, I i had to spray the poultry with uh uh the the medicine which is needed to be sprayed out in the poultry what could be the issue because i listed the poultry for two weeks to make sure the poultry has listed well then upon me finding out i had to raise about three batches for me to figure out what really is the issue and uh, what i could go ahead and start doing upon solving this same sound that is strange so me upon examining with three batches i had to examine them then i had to find out to say this sound that you just heard earlier those two sounds it doesn't mean like your beds are having a chronic respiratory disease no upon me my own experience finding out and uh lazing beds having the same sound i decided like to say no because i received some comments and i received some messages uh poultry farmers are texting me to say my beds are having this funny sound and i've tried to treat the beds with the chronic respiratory disease antibiotics but this sound doesn't seem to go away so I sat down and I was like, okay, let me try to figure out. I've also faced this challenge and I tried to, 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 to like uh, use the chronic respiratory disease antibiotics and it didn't go away, it still stayed. So what could be the issue and what could be the, the many, many, many solution for this uh, problem? So I sat down, that's when I took time to list three batches and uh, all those three batches, the same thing occurred. But this time around what I did was like, okay, let me see what it will develop to be. I like to take risk to find out what really is the problem with my beds. So I took time, I just watched the beds having the same breath, the same sound. I was watching them, three bushes. The first bush I watched them, I didn't give them any antibiotics to treat that problem. And as a result, 
after a later stage that bad uh, breathing that you give you um, an alert to think like your beds are having a problem for me i kept quiet i washed them after sometimes that sound disappeared without me giving them any medication the first batch went again the second batch i did the same thing i didn't give them any antibiotics to treat that and it went away and on this batch that i'm having where i took this creep i'm also watching the beds now i'm watching them and they're giving me that same sound that i've just captured i've captured this just right now i captured this sound to make sure that i have the correct answers i did three batches this is the fourth one now so on this fourth one the same sound has come and i'm still watching them and i'm very sure because of what i've experienced and according to what i've examined this will go away because this is not really <coughs> a disease it is actually for me i can call it it's a normal sound at a stage where the beds are this is my own foundation that i've found out to say okay these beds even if they give me this sound they don't have any problem and if you've noticed you see like your beds are very active they don't have any problem so the issue comes up when now you start giving them uh, antibiotics they will start uh, because you are giving them antibiotics and then they don't have any disease and that antibiotic has no no any fight that they'll fight in the body of the bed so you find like your beds now will start having problems with uh, growth they'll start having stunt growth which is a problem we don't like beds which are stunt so on this video i wanted to clarify and i wanted every poultry farmer to have a clear picture so that anytime they'll have this problem this funny breathing let me just put it again so those two funny breathing and those don't worry about them it's a normal breathing of the beds after some time you'll find like your beds that sound will go away so don't get frustrated don't rush to go to the aggravate to go and get medication so that you can treat your beds with a chronic respiratory disease no that's not a chronic respiratory disease that's a normal sound of the beds according to my experience if you want try this out don't give them any medication just keep on just giving them a good environment give them uh, the data system which is dry give them uh, ventilation which is okay continue giving them a good quality environment you see at no time that that sound will go away so this is for this video to make sure you guys get the clear picture not to start getting frustrated no my beds are sick then you start treating them no when you start giving them antibiotics that's when they will have a problem so guys i'm sure i've just given you a clear picture on what goes on with your base with this sound which they give so thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel because in this channel we put up videos which are practical videos which we got we have to experience and we have to experiment to say what is the problem then we give out the answer so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any video and uh, watch these other videos if you're new in poultry farming or maybe you are already a poultry farmer you need to find out a lot of uh, videos here that will give you a good quality education so that you are good in poultry farming so thank you guys for watching and make sure like the video and make sure also share it with other poultry farmers so that they are able to watch and learn about poultry farming so that they can raise good healthy beds without any challenges thank you guys for watching bye bye